ಅಖಂಡಮಂಡಲಾಕಾರಂ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಂಗೇನ ಚರಾಚರ ತತ್ಪದ ದರ್ಶಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿಮಿರಾಂಧ್ಯಾನಾಂಜನಶಲಾಕೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ಮೀಲಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರೇವ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ತ್ವೇವ ಮಾತಾ ಚಿತಾತ್ವೇವ ಬಂಧುಶ ಸಖಾತ್ವೇವ ವಿದ್ಯಾವೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವೇವ we saw how guru is a manifestation of divinity in order to guide us to divinity a divinity personally guiding us to divinity is guru divinity personally guiding us divinity guiding is always there always there but divinity personally guiding us to divinity so god personalized for us is guru like how mother is divinity pers- personalized for one father is divinity personalized for one one as a mother one as a father similarly one as a guru okay don't think that we can find the guru so if you find the guru then you are very smart actually you don't find the guru guru finds you guru happens right guru happens so when god wants to discover you and bring you close to him then he manifests as guru is a very beautiful verse shankaracharya would say in a text called sarva vedanta siddhanta sara sangraha name of a text is a mouthful i know sarva vedanta siddhanta sara sangraha i am not going to tell you more about the text that's not the job here but there we find a very beautiful verse janmane kashatai sadadarayuja bhaktya samaradita ha bhaktai vaidika lakshadena vidina santushtai shasvayam sakshat shri guru roopa metya kripaya drukgochara sanprabhu ತತ್ವ ಸಾಧು ವಿಶೋದ್ಯ ತಾರಯತಿ ತಾನ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ದುಃಖಾರ್ಣವಾತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಸ್ 
what does the verse say that is important for us janma aneka shataihi in hundreds of lifetimes when we are when we continue to be devoted to god janma aneka shatai janma aneka shatai sada aadarayuja endured with full devotion when one worships the lord and bhaktya samaraditaha when god is thus worship with devotion how vaidik lakshanena vidina by following the vidhi of the veda vedo nityam adhiyatam tadudita karmasvanushtiyatam in this way if one has lived the life of goodness for many lives and performed one's duties as an offering unto god vaidika lakshanena vidina then santushtaha ishaha bhagavan becoming very very pleased bhagavan understanding your inner call santushta ishaha swayam lord himself what does he do sakshat shri guru roopam etya having taken a form so that you can see sakshat shri guru roopam etya drigocharah san prabhu he becomes available for your perception that lord taking a form available for our perception when lord takes a form for our perception such a lord is called avatar avatar the formless lord making himself available in a form is called avatar right sakshat shri guru roopa metya kripaya out of compassion drigocharah he becomes available for your perception prabhu then what does he do tattvam sadu vishodya he takes the tattva he takes the vedic truth the vedantic truth for you and then what does he do sadhu vishodya sadhu vishodya sadhu means very good very very nicely very beautifully vishodya vishodya means clarifying in other words that vedantic truth which is so subtle and so incomprehensible which is the highest reality which even words can't describe even thoughts cannot go such a very very subtle reality the guru makes it clear for you sadhu vishodya and then what does he do sadhu vishodya tan samsara dukkarnavat tattvam sadhu vishodya tarayati tan tarayati means he helps them cross the ocean of samsara samsara dukkarnavat from this ocean of samsara the guru by explaining to you the highest reality in such a manner that you understand he helps you get liberated cross the ocean of samsara in other words in essence what does his words what does his words say this verse says when the guru happens in your life when one has lived many lifetimes right living tene shitam what is tene shit what is that tena what is it how does that line go tene shasya vidiyata apachitihi 
if one lives a life like this then bhagwan happens in your life as the guru and helps you cross the ocean of samsara by helping you comprehend that higher subtlest reality okay so what is guru guru is the lord manifesting for you in order to guide you and take you beyond samsara so that manifestation of guru in a particular form that reality in a particular form expressing in a particular form expressing through a particular form okay that is guru okay so on such a guru we have the stotra we have the stotra guru does not require any stotra stotra praise guru does not require any praise guru is beyond all praise and criticism and why do we praise why do we glorify we glorify the guru so that we develop that attunement with the guru in our heart because the guru is not going to be easy the guru samji guru is not going to be easy you said guru explains the reality and also nicely simplifies makes us understand but the guru has got enmity with your ego the guru is enemy guru has a enemy yes guru's enemy is ego does guru have ego no no guru does not have ego but guru has enmity with the ego with whose ego then guru has enmity with the deha bimana in vedanta ego is called deha bimana deha bimana is what identification with the body identification with the mind we all are identified in the realm of agnana because of agnana we have taken ourselves to be what to be the mano buddhi ahankara chitta and the guru's teaching is what mano buddhi ahankara chitta ni naam right so the guru's teaching goes totally contradicts your understanding of yourself of course once we take our swast with the body then we may have some abhimana with respect to the body some ego comes from the body ego comes from the body yes different people can have different ego with respect to the body महाकुरु धन जन यौवन गर्व हरति निमेषा काल सर्व सो वन वुज ऐडेंटिफाइड विद उपाधि वी कॉल दिस उपाधि ऑल दीज उपाधि कंडीशनिंग एंड वन वन इज ऐडेंटिफाइड विद दैट देन वन कैन हैव अडिशनल अभिमान normal abhimana is this but that with that one may have abhimana further abhimana how samjhi further abhimana how so i have identification with my body let us say and where does my body stay my body stays in a house and suppose the house is very big and large and is a mansion then what is abhimana i have you know i am a person of great prosperity and wealth one may say also all god's grace <laughs> but internally person has got abhimana abhimana is very subtle difficult to root out and it finds a hundred ways to hide and a million ways to express and the guru is very watchful careful okay she is careful not carefully like this like this like this he says 
Guru says. And then he strikes. Sometimes subtly strikes. And if required, daringly strikes. Whatever is to be done, the Guru has to do. Why? Because his job is to remove that ahankara and mamakara, minus and minus, which are all clouding our vision and finally help us discover our own infinitude, true nature. Right? And therefore, the Guru's work is really difficult work. And the Guru tries to do all these things as softly, as required, and as nicely as required. But the underlining point is as required. Not softly, not nicely, not smoothly. Maximum that will be, but sometimes some hard nuts to be cracked with strong hammers only. Guru does all those things. He does all those things. Who gives the capacity to the Guru to do all those things? That very Lord who is flowing through the Guru. Who gives the mother the capacity to take care of the child non-stop, night and day, without taking herself care of herself? Who? How? How? That special gift the mother has. A mother is very powerful. Babre, very powerful. Not necessarily human mother, even animal mother you can see. It may be a small bird and the snake is coming. By, normally it will run away, that bird will run away. But now she is mother. Then try. Even snakes get afraid of mothers, baby mother, mothers, bird mothers. Cats and dogs, dangerous they are when they are mothers. Try to go near and take the puppy, sweet cute one, go. <laughs> Such a cat, that cat which used to run away seeing you, but now you have to run away. Why? Mother. Power. Yadevi Sarva Bhuteshu Matru Rupena Samstita Namastasya 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 Namo Namaha Because there is manifestation of divinity and wherever there is manifestation of divinity that is Bhagavad Vibhuti and wherever it is Bhagavad Vibhuti we see the greatness and glory of Bhagavan. That is very fine. So in Puja Gurudev, we all saw that greatness and glory, which continues to be revealed even now through the Guru Parampara. Yeah, Puja Guruji, Puja Swamiji. This is all our Guru Parampara, Guru for all of us. When I say Guru, you must understand who is Guru. We do not think Guru is so. My Acharya Ji is my Guru. No. Acharya Ji also is Shishya to the Guru. We have a Guru Parampara. Right? We bow and we salute and we remain surrendered unto this Guru Parampara. Okay? Whatever I am saying is coming from the Guru Parampara. Nothing is mine. First of all, there should not be me to say mine also. You should not. When a tap is opened, water comes. Where is the water coming from? It is a tank. It is from the Guru Parampara. You know, we have this magnificent teachings, this glorious teachings. Okay? So, unto that Guru, who is a manifestation of divinity to take us to divinity, we all surrender and we offer our stotra so that that attunement with the Guru happens and we benefit from the teaching. Okay? 
ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಭ್ಯ ಪರಿಪಾಲಯಂತ ನ್ಯಾಯನ ಮಾರ್ಗೇಣ ಮಹೀಂ ಮಹೀಷಾ ಗೋ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೇಭ್ಯ ಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ನಿತ್ಯ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಕಾಲೆ ವರ್ಷತು ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯ ಪೃಥಿವೀ ಸಸ್ಯ ಶಾಲಿನಿ ದೇಶೋ ಯಂಕ್ಷೋಭರಹಿತ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಸಂತು ನಿರ್ಭಯ ಓಂ ಸರ್ವಾಂ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿರ್ಭವತು ಸರ್ವಾಂ ಶಾಂತಿರ್ಭವತು ಸರ್ವಾಂ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಸರ್ವಾಂ ಮಂಗಲಂತು ಸರ್ವಂತು ಸುಖಿ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಭದ್ರಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಮಾ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ ದುಃಖ ಭಾಗ್ಭವೆ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ